Paul uh, Lacour uh, studied uh, physics uh, and uh, meteorology at uh, the University of uh, Copenhagen and uh, got a degree. And uh, from 1872, he worked um, at uh, the Danish Institute for Meteorology. But alongside his job at the Institute, he was an inventor. He was working with uh, telegraphs uh, and uh, new inventions within uh, telegraph, first with tuning forks, a few years later, a phonetic, uh, a phonic wheel. But um, during his invention period, he had a leave from his office. And uh, when it was time to return, he uh, gave in a resignation in order to stop. Because he thought uh, there was a future, because he was actually uh, before the Americans. Uh, well, he will tell the story that they stole his patents and he didn't have the money to buy the American, to, to have his patent uh, uh, registered in, in the United States. Now his wife was expecting the third child and he's just handed in his resignation. His wife came from a background of uh, high school um, for grown-up people and uh, he uh, asked for a job at a local, uh, at a high school uh, where you teach grown-up uh, people um, different subjects and he was going to teach, uh, which was very, very new at that time, mathematics and physics to the students. Mostly they were people from farms or different uh, kind of crafts, uh, craftsmanship. So, young people uh, who had uh, finished uh, maybe five or, or seven years of school and they wanted to learn and study some more. During uh, his um, years at uh, ESCO, he came, he, he couldn't stop all this idea about inventions. So he came upon the idea of uh, setting up a, a small wind turbine and have it produce electricity. Now we are in 1891, and uh, this was actually the first year that uh, Denmark uh, had the first uh, power plant for electricity. It was in Odense. And at the same time, he opened this um, wind turbine uh, in Asko, where he worked on the high school. It was to produce uh, electricity from a dynamo, and uh, the electricity was going to be used for a process of electrolysis, uh, where he would separate water into the two gases, oxygen and hydrogen. He would be uh, doing experiments with how can you use hydrogen. It's a very early uh, experiment. Uh, this is what is actually going on today. He found out that uh, it could be used for lamps. So uh, it was used for lightening up uh, during some, several years uh, some of the rooms uh, at the high school. And he also experimented with uh, a gas engine with lots of explosions uh, as a result, but um, it, it was not so easy to use hydrogen in a gas engine, but it was possible. This was uh, actually with funding from the, the Danish state. And a few years later, in 1897, um, he, uh, he got a new funding for a bigger, um, a bigger wind turbine. Uh, and this time, they actually used the electricity. And the new project was now to set up uh, a laboratory where you could testing of uh, in wind tunnels of uh, different profiles. He would develop uh, the technology of uh, wind turbines or windmills uh, with his uh, work in ESCO. And this was also every year with uh, funding from, from the Danish uh, state.